What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you a second version on uh, the dedicated server tutorial. This is how to change your IP address where your servers that you're hosting for a dedicated server. Now if you know, I have a dedicated server called Daycon Black Rose and if you go, I didn't show you on the first episode because I was just showing you how to start to set it up. So this is the second episode uh, and this is good for anybody who does have a Bedrock Edition or MCPE server. This is how you can change your server address completely free so you can follow the tutorial as well. Uh, basically my server IP address is now daconblackrose.us.to. So if you put this in and you join, if I'm hosting it on my computer on my Wi-Fi, you will be able to join. If not, that means I'm not I'm not actually hosting it. So you guys know from the first episode and stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Create a free one so you don't have to give people your public IP address if you don't want to. Uh, but basically, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and kick it over to the uh, internet. So that's the page for the server. Uh, you're going to need to type in what's my IP on Google or whatever and uh, go to... My, uh, what's my ip.com you click the link in the description as well as the domain registry name as well they'll both be in the description so make sure you click both of those links you're going to need them now mine's a little blurred out because i don't want you guys seeing my public uh, domain now i'm going to get into a little bit of nerdy stuff but the domain for your public ipv4 is right here you're going to need to copy um basically your public domain name now to get into some nerdy stuff real quick depending on your network depending on where you are or whatever um you might experience to where you're going to have to do this quite often. Like, what's my IP.com? Okay, yesterday when I was hosting it for some friends, just testing some stuff out, my IP, my public IP was completely different because there's a thing called static and uh, dynamic. And I'm not going to get into a lot, but basically sometimes your IP, your public IP will change. So just to make sure every time you're hosting your uh, dedicated server, just type in what's my IP. It'll, it'll pop up automatically what your public IP is at that moment. So if it changes, all you have to do is quickly change it, which I'll show you as well. Uh, but I just wanted to do that. I'm not going to get into all the crazy stupid stuff that does all that but just in case it doesn't work or people can't join or you can't even join your own public server and you're hosting it right now it's probably because of your ip so just go ahead and go to back to what's my ip click it get a new one or it'll tell you and all that so anyway click copy blah blah okay and then click the next link and go to free dns dot org now you're going to need to create a free account once you create a free account and, and register and all that go ahead and go to registry it will pull up this page here uh, once you click the registry page it'll click here boom 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 uh, now you can see that i have the us.to now you could pick any one of these there's a total of 65,792 uh, now there's not that many for public but you're going to need to pick a public like this private one do not pick it because those are for basically paid members uh, if you want that one you could be a paid member it's five bucks a month or something like that so that's totally up to you guys. Uh, I clicked the us.to. Now you can put uh, search here. So if you wanted to search Minecraft ones, which I know there's one like straight down, like right there, Minecraft Noob. So there are some like that, minecraftnoob.com if you wanted to use that. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and use moo.com uh, because it's the first one. It's public, and I'm just going to show you. So right here, it will automatically put your public IP the moment you do this. So if you don't know what your IP is, it'll automatically put it for you. Uh, but like I said, be careful because uh, like say tomorrow it changes. So just go back to what's my IP. See if it changed. If it did, if it didn't, good. If it did change, copy it. Come back over here um, and I'll show you how to change it in just a second. But you're going to need to put type and it needs to be an A. Do not do not go to anything else. If, you, if you're going to run an IP, uh, IPv6, which is like... I doubt anybody's going to run that, uh, but it would be a, a quad A. Uh, but basically, just leave it at triple A, and now this is where you're going to put whatever. I have Daycom Black Rose as mine. Um, you could put whatever you want, like monkey, monkey, woe, moo.com. So it would now be monkey, woe, moo.com as the entire IP. Uh, now that's the public destination and everything, and then you just need to put this over here, so it would be like X v e n for the little thing and then you just click save now you can have a total of five of these guys now you can see my uh daycom black rose dot us to right here uh so it does work now um real quick i'm just going to show you um, if i click on the daycon dot us to 
uh, you will see my public IP is pretty much the same. You won't be able to see it because I'm blurring it out, but it's the same. So if it changes, if this changes, like tomorrow, now it doesn't do it for everybody. I'm just saying for the people that you might experience something weird going on, no one can connect, just try this out because this is why. Um, just go to what's my IP, get your new IP, that whatever it is for the day or for the week or for the month or whatever, uh, for the minute, I don't know, and put it right here. Just control copy on what's my IP, come over here, control V for paste, uh, put it right there, and you will be done, basically. And then put your thing in there uh, to authorize it and click save. Once you've done that, you are good to go, guys. Um, that's pretty that's pretty much it I mean if you want you can go and uh, come to like this and if you wanted to you could do the little minecraft colors for minecraft code colors and put it in in the subdomain and it would give this a color or whatever but people will have to put that as well so most likely don't do that but you know anyway that is pretty much it for the tutorial guys if you did enjoy it remember to leave a like comment down below if you want to see anything else remember to leave it in the comment section for whatever else you guys want me to kind of showcase kind of go over in a tutorial form for the dedicated servers or for non-dedicated servers because i know how to host a free public minecraft server where up to a thousand players can join which I don't know why you need a thousand, but anyway, uh, if you guys want to see that, I'll leave it in the comments as well. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Dave. I'm Black. I need an angel.